Good morning. It's morning here in Sweden and it's uh, November 23, 2023. And uh, uh, I wanted to recording only to say that I, the, they didn't uh, get any time of uh, peace in in uh, Gaza uh, they are delayed the time when they are going to to not have a war only to exchange uh, prisoners and uh, that was what I was telling you yesterday I I knew it already uh, by the spirit, and um, it I say that uh, I knew this about uh, these two uh, fighting uh, people that they they are of the same sort that we don't have here in Europe. It's a very much a psychology strategy in in the war in Gaza. And so they, they have not... No, it's, it should have been today that they should not uh, do any war but uh, then uh, they said, uh, say this morning that the, it was delay they are going to fight today also uh, and uh, but they do it in a, a different way because they need to clean up what need to be cleaned up today so they those that they want to take or want to kill doesn't run away or hide because what I are thinking is that they had a strategy but the strategy was wrong it's a glitch it's a, a, a part in it that doesn't work out they find out so the time slipping away and they need to do another way to uh, um, stop that uh, glitch the running away the hide in Gaza and uh, they going from home to home and uh, take picture and uh, take some people into prison the Israel side do that they go in in, in houses and they it's like uh, uh, stop stop people from going back to their home to get something that they forget to to take with them and they stop it so it seems like they uh, want to hold people back to force them to go go to the south and uh, the rest that is there in the north will be killed so they uh, they need they really want to have like a flock in the, in the south to, to maybe to kill Everyone that is uh, 
in the south. Because in the north they are going to be killed, all people that stay there. And uh, there is uh, people in the hospital that can't be moved. And they will be killed. It's a uh, cruel. The war is cruel. And that is not not uh, God. God. God doesn't kill. Is this people that think that they are chosen of God to be his people. But it I have told you sometimes uh, it's not how it's working because uh, one of the biggest uh, biggest thing was when I come back from Israel 2016 and I was asking God if I needed to live in Israel for him to find me and and coming down and talk to me. And you know how it is today. But this was 2016 when I didn't know anything about my DNA and that I uh, I belong to Israel from the beginning. Uh, not uh, me as a person, but in my roots. Uh, I come from the Jewish roots. And, um, and I ask God, do I need to, to live in Israel for you to come and uh, get me or I see you I don't know uh, exactly how I ask God but uh, God he answer immediately and he say I will find you wherever you are so th- that means that uh, God's people doesn't need to live in Israel that that country that men have put up here on earth to be it's uh, god doesn't see countries god have no boundary what is called borders god see the whole planet in one we all are god's people if we do what we should supposed to do and the first thing we need to do is to come to know god that's the the primary that's the first thing we need to do is to come to know god and uh, and uh, as we see is today so few people know god and they do their own will their or, or, or they want their own wants and they are greedy for their own not for work with god but their own greedy and that's the biggest sin, to be greedy. And uh, in that way that you uh, you take God to be behind everything of your wants. That God should come in the first place. But today is it that God is way behind everything that you want, what people want, what men want, uh, because they don't listen at women so much. Uh, There is some few 
that the lizard, but mostly is it like a laugh about what the woman is saying. And that's that was the meaning that I come here on earth from heaven. I was sent to test the world. And uh, I am done with the test. I know it now. And God know it. He knew it from the beginning. But he tests some people to see if, uh, if they were his people. And uh, those you wish, they be very angry when I, I say this. But they are very greedy. They are very, very greedy. So they they are not God's people. Some may maybe are. I don't I don't know. But uh, I can tell that uh, most of them is greedy. I get uh, I have I take some contact when I travel to Israel. I before I. I go, go to Israel this uh, this year, and twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. I uh, uh, I took contact with many of of the Jewish organization and asked them for to get help from them and uh, be invited into their places in Jerusalem and they didn't answer me and uh, I get many still I have blocked most of them but still there is some that find me out because they change their email address so that block I have it doesn't work because it's another address they send it from and uh, the whole time is it to donate money to them but they can't do anything they couldn't help me at all when I asked them before I I say uh, I wrote to them that I am going to be in Jerusalem in December and ask them what I could do f- to learn more about the Jewish tradition. But they didn't answer me. Instead, I got emails that asked me to donate money to them. So, of course, I, I don't donate money. I don't do- donate money to them because my donate is that I come to Jerusalem, that I donated to them, that I was there a whole month, and they could come to uh, find me out and come to know me. That's my donation to Israel. And I have done that four times my donation by going there I could do something else for that money I spend to spend on traveling to Israel I have never been interested of to go to Israel as a country uh, the first time I God was telling me the first time that I I needed to go to Israel and that was because I should meet this uh, Swedish church leader and uh, he mocked me. He was very bad to me and then uh, I come to know that that was his last traveling to Israel with people from 
Christian church from uh, that church that he working from because then he be Catholic man and he what he show us in Israel was most of it was Catholic churches we were in and uh, in the end of of our traveling in Israel and Catholic Church, I didn't go into this Catholic Church anymore. I sit outside and wait for them to come out from those churches because I was, I was, and have never been interested of Catholic Church. Of course, I have been into Catholic Church as a tourist, but not to to believe in what they are doing and what they are saying and and that was the end of it when I was to the nuns and uh, I got this visions in the nuns uh, monastery and uh, and they uh, didn't want to talk to me and uh, so uh, it, I have uh, been to most of those uh, religious uh, groups and tried to be accepted into to those churches. And, uh, I have been to Jewish and I have been to you know, I was to uh, Israel, uh, Samarian. I have been there, and uh, now they are in uh, at the board in Nablus. They uh, there are fight, small fights there, and uh, they uh, it could have been a void if they have accepted me. And then I could tell what God was telling. But they didn't want a woman to be a prophet. Uh, and so is it in many religions and traditions. Um, Islam is the closest because they are waiting also for Messiah. But they are not clearly are not talking like it must be a man. But in Christianity, they are saying that the Messiah need to be a man and it should be Jesus coming back, Jesus Christ coming back. It's closed. It's closed for a female to to be the one messiah they they are going to be so so surprised when they realize that it was not a man messiah it was a female messiah that's going to be really shocked for the whole world because Everyone is focused on the man, and uh, I can't, I, I can't do anything, because I, I was sent from heaven to talk uh, what God is telling me, but they don't want to listen at me, so uh, I stand still today. I um, I maybe get a message from from heaven to travel away somewhere else. I don't know because I don't think on my own. I listen to what God is saying. If he want me to travel, I travel and uh, it doesn't matter that I don't have any money. Because the money is coming 
to my account, bank account, like it did now when I was in Israel. And then he wanted me to to do my web website uh, more. And uh, because there was coming in money, it, it was already paid for two years more to have this website. So I, I need to work on it and I need to, in some way, to get the money to could use my podcast. Because now in December and January is coming bills for to have my podcast running or else I have to close it if I don't have money for it and you know that it's all over the world that uh, we is going tight with the money just now and uh, especially me that have I am uh, thankful that I live in a country that, where we have retirement but my retirement is the lowest anyone could get so it's only to survive on that money and now when I have been in the hospital laying in the hospital for some days I need to pay the hospital also not uh, uh, much money but I need to pay for the bed so it's about uh, it's about uh, say fifteen dollar per day to lay in the hospital but I uh, but there is a bill I got I was in the hospital twice uh, last month and uh, uh, so I have a big bill now that I need to pay and I can't pay it. I am going to check it out today uh, what to do uh, with it because I don't have that money. Uh, So it's... um, it's a, a a very bad thing in economy me also to lay in the hospital not only not only that i am ill in my body but the bills that I have to pay and i don't have this overflow so i will see today if i can can pay the bill and what to do with it. Uh, I am not uh, stressed of it because I can let it be because I have so much bills laying from from when I uh, I left Sweden for United States and my husband. Uh, ex-husband use use me to to build much bills to me when I return I had lots of money to pay that he had done and uh, and I couldn't pay it and I still can't pay pay it because I don't have that kind of money and those, uh, the, there is a distinct, uh, it's like a board that I can see that where God give me money for me to do something that he wants me to do. And then I can't take that money for to pay my bills because I need to do what God tell me to do so it's uh, different is I get lots of money but it is for God's uh, work 
for the work for God, I get that money. And that should not be uh, be to pay the bills. So I need to to pay the bills in another way. And uh, if you should donate money to me, uh, please uh, write uh, that you is for for other things than God's work. It's God's work, everything, but it's special when it is to travel. But this donation money is maybe right uh, for other bills. And uh, and I could do this, pay the bills that need to be paid. The need, need to be paid is also the podcast bills. And so this, well, it's terrible day we have here. It's fall. It's November. Uh, it's not snow. It's not so cold, so it's falling snow. It's falling rain. And uh, yesterday night, uh, yesterday evening and night, it was storm here. So my garden look terrible. It's Jesus' garden. And it's look terrible because I can't walk out in when it's so cold weather as it is uh, today. It's zero Celsius degrees. I think it's 34 Fahrenheit, like that. And uh, and I my brain can't take that cold weather and uh, it's a little wind also and then is it rain and I can't go out and clean up the garden and uh, and then my brain can't take very hot weather either so it must it start to be like heaven uh, for, for my brain so everything is directed to heaven and uh, of course it is for all people uh, I hope it will be like that for all people uh, that they directed to heaven you that listen uh, your life is directed to heaven and uh, you you maybe have not thinking in the long run that uh, that is the target heaven is the target it's not the the life here on earth that is the target you are not going to lay under underground in the soil it's not you that lay in there it's the waste of your body that laying there but you are going to immediately go into heaven when it's time for you to go. And uh, and there is it not like here. I have been to, to heaven, so I know what it is. It's no wind there. It's no rain. It's no, no snow there. It's just a perfect day with a with a sun sunshine. It's a blue sky. It's no clouds. It is not really hard sun beams coming because this, there is no sun in the sky. The sun is coming. The light is coming from that golden city, the city, 
that is where those uh, people is coming to that have done good works here on earth. Those other people is going to be uh, uh, at the meadow around the Golden City. They are going to be in the meadow and playing and have fun as uh, children. And they are not going to remember anything about what have been done on earth. And they are staying as childs. And uh, in the Golden City there is people that can remember uh, what have been done on earth, but only in the good ways. And, uh, and then learning also, we're still learning in, in heaven. And uh, there is many doors to open in heaven also. And uh, it is no weather. You can't tell that is is a weather there because it's standing still. It's no wind. It's no cloud in the sky. It's no rain. It's no thunder. It's no snow. Nothing. It's perfect, perfect condition for the body and the mind there. Yeah, and, but you you can't make a suicide to come to heaven faster. You need to wait for God to call you home. And he don't want you to make a suicide. He wants you to stand still and uh, wait for him to call you home. So we thank you for listening. I'm going to make my day even if it's rain and wind here. I have much to do every day. So God bless you. And I hope you have a nice day or night. Or what time you are in when you listen to this. God bless you.